I'm standing on the ruins of the South Fork Dam in rural Pennsylvania, the cause of the devastating Johnstown Flood in 1889. When it was standing, this earth-filled dam was barely 80 feet tall and held back a reservoir of only a couple of miles. But when the dam failed on May 31st, 1889, it sent a wall of water 10 miles downstream to the town of Johnstown, Pennsylvania, killing 2,200 people in the middle of the afternoon. The dam was originally constructed as a storage reservoir for a downstream canal. After years of neglect, it was later bought up by a group of wealthy businessmen who patched up the dam, raised the lake, and turned it into a private fishing and hunting reserve. Some notable members included Andrew Carnegie and Andrew Mellon, as well as most of the big steel families from that era. The dam failed during an enormous rainstorm, but really the cause was negligence on the part of the owners. And there's a ton of engineering lessons that have been learned from the failure of the South Fork Dam, but its real legacy is in the legal implications. After the disaster, the South Fork Hunting Fishing Club's lawyers went into high gear and somehow got this group of billionaires to be completely off the hook for any liability. No compensation for the victims, nothing even for the loss of property. They were completely absolved of any responsibility because the rainstorm that caused the dam collapse was considered an act of God. And there was even a report from the American Society of Engineers that confirmed that the dam likely would have failed no matter what. There was just that much rain. This is hands down the worst dam disaster in American history. In terms of loss of life, nothing else comes close. 